have once again decided to torture myself by ranking the palettes from one of my favorite brands. It's like choosing between my babies. Welcome if you are new here, my name is Rachel, and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Today I am going to be ranking all of my Nomad eyeshadow palettes. Like I just said, Nomad is one of my favorite brands, and they come out with amazing eyeshadow palettes. Their color stories are so unique, and they are an indie brand that makes palettes, collections, based on different destinations around the world. So everything that they do is so well thought out, and I do get a lot of questions, I mean, not a lot, I have like 6,000 subscribers, so I'm not that famous. I do occasionally get questions about which Nomad palette to buy. And so I hope today I can give you a little bit of info about each palette that I have that might kind of make you decide if you are interested in picking up a palette, which one would be right for you. I'm gonna link all the palettes down below in the description box, as well as everything that's on my face today. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna first start off by saying I like all of these palettes. None of them are bad at all whatsoever. But one thing about Nomad that I do think is very unique and interesting, and I think it's a plus with them, I feel like with each of their palettes, they have something a little bit different about them in terms of formula, in terms of finish of the shadows. So I feel like there is a palette for everyone. So these are based on my own preference. Which ones I'm gonna reach for more over the other? Which one I just happen to be drawn to over the other? And like I said, this was really hard. This was really, really hard. <laughs> okay, enough. Coming in at number eight, I have the Santa's Village palette. This was their holiday palette. And by the way, sometimes I do keep their outer cartons because their packaging is so cool. So the outer carton has a cutout of Santa on it. And the destination for this one is a Lapland floor. Lapland, I almost said Florida. <laughs> no, Lapland, Finland. And here is the cover, just beautiful, beautiful night sky with the Northern lights, just gorgeous. And then on the inside, you have this nine pan palette. So let me describe the formula to you with this. So I feel like the mattes in this are really nice. They are, I would say in the middle in terms of pigmentation, they're not overly pigmented, but they're not sheer. They're right in the middle. They're easy to work with. The shimmers in this are a lot more of a topper type of shimmer. So very sparkly, but not much of a base to them. So really just PC. So if you like a very opaque metallic shimmer, and that's strictly what you go for, you probably wouldn't be drawn to this. There are plenty of other palettes that I have in the stack in front of me that have that type of shimmer formula. But if you like to sometimes mix up your shadows, I know a lot of people didn't love the shimmers because they are quite hard pressed. You're not gonna get a ton of pigment on your eye with these shimmers. So well, with that being said, I think the shimmers are nice. Like they're not my favorite shimmer formula, but they're good. The only reason this is kind of coming in at the bottom is like I said, the shimmer formula is not my favorite shimmer formula. And I'm not a big fan of the color story, like the actual matte colors, I don't really feel like I can pair them together that well with my creativity and my brain. But what I do do is use this either as a companion palette or I use one matte and one shimmer and call it a day. And I have created some really beautiful looks with these palettes. I have videos on, a per I think, almost every palette that I have in front of me. So if I do have a video with this palette, I will link it down below in the description box as well. But yep, this one is coming in at number eight. I hope they come out with more nine pans in the future because I love a nine pan palette. Okay, now from here on out, it was really hard to rank everything. Like I kind of knew what my top two or three were gonna be, but all these ones in the middle, they really could shift around. Honestly, they could really shift around. If you ask me two months from now, they might shift into a different position because I really love all of these palettes. I enjoy them. They're not like my favorite, favorite palettes of the ones I have, but I do really like them. So anyway, enough. Coming in at number seven, <laughs> I have the Bosque Noboso de Monteverde, which is the Cloud Forest Preserve in Monteverde, Costa Rica. I kept the outer carton on this one as well because we've got cutouts of some of the animals, the sloth, absolutely love. And then when you open it up, you've got this beautiful, beautiful rainforest scape on the cover. And by the way, anytime you get a package from Nomad, opening it is a whole experience. They usually include a postcard with the destination and it's a really cool, cool experience opening up 
their palettes. And then when you open it up to see the inside, you have this beautiful, beautiful, bright, fun color story, which I think is perfect for any time of year, obviously, but I think of summertime when I look at this. Tropical vacation. I would say personally for me, I think the quality and like formulas in this palette are my favorite of all the palettes. The mattes for my preference are just perfect. Pigmentation where they do build up to look like the pan, which is hard to do with these bright shades, but they're not hard to blend out. They're not scary to use. They don't cause a ton of fallout. They're just spectacular mattes. And then these shimmers are that wet, metallic, slightly sparkly, not too textured, not chunky, but just absolutely beautiful shimmer formula that I personally love. You also do get one duochrome in here that is like a green to pink, which is really interesting, but absolutely love the formula of this palette. And this is the one I would suggest to you if you are a color lover, this is the number one palette I would suggest to you from Nomad because I think the formula of this is just spectacular. The only reason it's coming in at this number is just because I don't reach for colors like this very often. I'm not that exciting. I'm pretty boring. But uh, when I do wanna reach for these shades, this is the palette I'm reaching for. Coming in at number six, I have what I'm wearing on my eyes today, which is their newest palette, the Royal Europe palette. So I love the packaging on this. It's got this textured front and it's got layers and layers and layers and layers to create this beautiful texture. And you open it up and this is a jewel tone lover's dream. You've got beautiful saturated jewel tones that go with that royalty vibe. You know what I mean? Something different that they've done with this palette is there's a row of multi-chromes on the bottom. This one I did receive in PR. The other two I did purchase myself. I'll try to make sure I let you know about that. Uh, I love that they've done this in columns where you can stick to a column to create a cohesive look without really having to think too hard, which I absolutely love for someone who's not like the most creative person in the world. Really love the layout. Now, the only reason it's coming in like at this part is just, again, color story wise, these aren't like the ones I'm gonna reach for the most. And let me describe the formula to you so you can get an idea if this would be right for you. These mattes are very pigmented, extremely pigmented. I find that they can sometimes be a little bit more work and they require a little bit more finagling, if you will. But with that being said, if you like ultra pigmented shadows, you want it to be right off the bat, pow, like in your face, pigment. This is a good palette for you. I would say these are the most pigmented of the ones that I've used from the brand. And then I also love, love these multi-chromes. I think the formula of these is so beautiful. They're very smooth. But what I love about these multi-chromes is that they're not so emollient that they crease. Like I don't have any problem with these creasing on me, even with a glitter primer. They really just glide over the lid. They don't create weird texture, weird bumps on my eyes. They don't cause fallout and they look great all day long. I think most of the multi-chromes aren't like the strongest shifting multi-chromes, but actually I think that's nice. Be like, is she wearing a multi-chrome or like, you know, it's really beautiful. So color story wise, it's just not like the one I'm gonna reach for the most, but if you like this color story and you like very pigmented mattes, you would really enjoy this palette. Coming in at number five, I have the Verona Amore Immorte. And this one was their Valentine's Day release of 2023. It is inspired by Romeo and Juliet in Verona, Italy. So this palette has two sides. We have a love side and a death side. So I think it's fun that they, again, they're mixing it up. They're trying new things. They're doing different layouts with their palettes. And I really enjoy this as a Valentine's Day release because you have this like traditional Valentine's Day, red, pink, which is great, but then you have the dark side. And for me personally, I love, love this side over here, this smoky deep side. I love, I created a beautiful look with this side that I really enjoyed. And I feel like the mattes in this are really good, just pigmented, blendable, easy to work with. They show up true to pan, but you can shear them out, you can build them up. They build on top of each other. No problems with the mattes at all whatsoever. I would say that the shimmer formula in this is not as metallic, not as wet looking, apart from a couple of the shadows, like all the ones on the love side are a little bit more of that coppery, drier, but sparkly formula. And then on the death side, this one down here, Tragedy, is a duochrome from like, or maybe a multi-chrome. Well, it shifts from like green to purple to black. And then this one up here, Moors, is more of a traditional metallic. So 
Different textures with the metallics in here, but the mattes are just so easy to use, really beautifully blendable. I like the two-sided, double-sided layout. So this is coming in at number five. Coming in at number four, I have the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. I remember when I first got this, I thought it was just a wintry dream. Like I see myself at a ski resort, just in the ski lodge. Like I wanna be on the couch with a blanket with like a cup of coffee reading my book. You know what I mean? I'm not skiing. Those days are over for me. <laughs> anyway, um, I loved the theme is what I'm trying to say. And the cover art is so, so cute. I remember it came with a coaster, like you would get at the bar at the snow lodge. It was so cool. And then on the inside, you have this gorgeous wintry dream of a palette. Now, I'm not a huge fan of blue eyeshadows, even though I keep saying that I keep wearing blue eyeshadows. But <laughs> these tones of blue, I actually absolutely love. These more like powder, true blues. I also really love the mints, like so beautiful. And then of course you've got some neutrals as well. I think the shimmer formula in this is so good. It's that traditional metallic that's really smooth yet sparkly, which is some of my favorite types of metallics. I don't love like super textured, chunky metallics. They're not my favorite type of metallic, but these ones are really smooth, really metallic. The only one that's not quite is Powder Specialist, which is a duochrome from white to pink. That one is a little bit more on the powdery side, Powder Specialist, powdery side, get it? but I love the color story of this. I love the tones. It's so interesting. It captures the vibe. The quality is great. I love that you've got light to deep in both the mattes and the metallics. You've got everything I need in this palette and I love it. Okay, now we have the top three. I'm so excited. Coming in at number three, I have the Fête de Provence palette. This, I remember when they first dropped the photos of this on Instagram. I literally gasped. I was so drawn to the color story. I'm drawn to the theme. It is inspired by France and the outer packaging is so beautiful. And then on the inside, it literally matches the outside perfectly. This for a spring color story is everything. You've got such beautiful flower colors, like spring flowers. You've got your warm side, you've got your cool side, and then you have a row of these bright, vibrant yellows. I really love this side a lot, but I also really like the cool tone side, even though I'm not a huge cool tone lover. I think the mattes in this are really, really nice. I would say more in that mid range of not overly pigmented, not sheer. They're easy to work with. They are really nice. They're really nice mattes. And then the shimmer formula in this, they've got a few different shimmer formulas. You have more traditional metallics. You have a duochrome that's like white to green, but it is quite subtle, but it's really, really beautiful. And then these two metallics over here are more on like the satin side. They're a little softer, but I think it's totally appropriate for this spring color story when you do wanna use these colors, maybe just have a, like a light little soft look to the eye absolutely love this palette. It's one of my favorite palettes for sure from Nomad. All right, now coming in at number two, I have the Hudson Valley palette. Okay, packaging, 10 out of 10. It feels like a paper bag. Like when you go apple picking and you have a paper bag, that's what this feels like. The texture is just nostalgic. I'm from New England, so I love it. I don't live in New England anymore. I live in Florida, but it does remind me of home when I like look at this and touch it. So I absolutely love that. This is inspired by Hudson Valley, New York, upstate New York. And then on the inside, oh my goodness, a fall dream, a fall dream. You've got your fall leaf colors here, which I love warm tones and I love mattes. So I love that this is matte heavy. All of the mattes in this palette are just that beautiful, amazing nomad quality where they're pigmented and blendable. They don't cause a ton of fallout. They're not hard to work with. They show up true to pan. They're really, really buttery smooth, really beautiful. And then these three metallics in the middle are just that beautiful metallic, shiny, slightly sparkly, not super textured, not chunky, really gorgeous. And then you have the cool tone side, which I always say this is like fall turning into winter where like the fall leaves are turning. And then when the leaves fall off the trees and it's starting to get a little drab, kind of heading to winter, that's what I feel like is happening here. If you like a matte heavy palette and you like this color story, I think you would not be disappointed at all whatsoever. And then coming in at number one, can I get a drum roll please? <sighs> I have the Haunted Europe palette. This is my first ever palette 
that I bought from Nomad and this isn't available anymore. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm like shouting its praises, but I have to be honest with you. This is my favorite palette. This is celebrating the medieval Europe, like the castles of Europe. So love, love, love the theme, love a spooky theme. And I love the holographic cover, Ugh, so cool. And then the color story is what dreams are made of. Oh my goodness. It's grungy, it's smoky, but it's also light and bright. It's neutral, but we've got some pops of color. Love, love the color story of this. I feel inspired every time I look at this. I love it. It just makes me so happy. The formulas in this are really good. The mattes are really blendable, really easy to use. They are, I wouldn't say like super pigmented. They are a little bit more on that like buildable side, which I, I like. And then the shimmers in this are really pretty. They're a little bit more of just that like traditional metallic, really soft, just really easy to work with. You've got dark shimmers, you've got light shimmers, you've got neutrals, they're just, just really, really pretty. They're not overly wet, like they're not gonna crease on your eyes, but they do give that sparkle. I'm so always so caught up with testing new palettes, like what's coming out, what's coming out. I'm trying to like test new things. And on my birthday last year, I, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna test a new palette. I wanna pick out some palette in my collection to play with just for me today. I'm not gonna film it. I'm just gonna have fun putting on my makeup, any palette, and I have a lot of palettes, you guys, a lot any palette in my collection, and this is the one I chose to play with because it is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. I absolutely love it. All right, and that is it for this Nomad palette ranking. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, all of these palettes are good. I hope I gave you a little bit of information if you were curious about the brand, which palette you might be interested in, or if you're not interested in picking any of these up, I'm glad that you're here. I hope I entertained you for however long this video is. And now I wanna hear your thoughts. Do you have Nomad palettes? What's your favorite Nomad palette? If you don't own any Nomad palettes, which palette that you saw me introduce today would be like your vibe? Which is the one you would be drawn to the most? I would love to know your thoughts. I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.